the Promotions edition from Technology Management allows you to define promotions on your products. It allows you to specify when the promotions apply, set which customers and items they apply to, and what benefit they bring. A new list page is added by this edition called Promotions. This gives an overview of all the promotions within the system, with a summary of the date range applicable and whether or not that actual promotion is enabled. From here, you can go on to view a promotion card for one specific promotion. The promotion card shows the detail for one individual promotion. It gives the filtering criteria for the promotion. This is a specific set of rules that need to be met in order to qualify for the promotion's benefits. The general fast tab includes its number and a brief description and the general rules for the promotion, such as the date range that the promotion will be valid for, if this is left blank it will apply on all dates, whether it cannot be combined with other promotions. By default, multiple promotions can be used on the same sales document as long as they're not set up to disallow this. The specific currency code that amounts quoted in this promotion are in, so here blank means LCY, local currency, for example, pound sterling. Whether the promotion can be converted to other currencies. If this is not ticked, then the promotion will only apply to sales documents in the same currency. Allow benefit multiplication means that if ticked on a buy one get one free promotion, for example, if I buy three, I will get three free. If not ticked, then only the first one will earn one free. And finally, whether or not the promotion is enabled. The customer fast tab determines who qualifies for this promotion, specifically the sales type that qualifies for the promotion. So this can be one specific customer, a particular customer price group, or all customers, or a combination of these. The qualification criteria fast tab sets the filter criteria that decide if the specific details of the actual purchase by that eligible customer qualify for the promotion. Here we can set it to filter by minimum quantity, minimum amount, item type or promotion codes. The promotion benefit fast tab determines what will happen to the sales document, the actual benefit the promotion will give. There are four broad types of benefits that can be applied. It can apply to all lines, it can create a new line, it can apply to the cheapest line, it can split the benefit across target lines, or it can apply to the qualifying lines. In this example, when the specific customer, selling Gorian Limited, customer 20,000, buys four or more of item 1110 within the month of January, they will get one free of item 1120. This edition adds new buttons within the ribbon on sales documents. It adds apply promotion and unapply promotion on the actions tab of the ribbon. And it also adds two actions to the navigate tab on the ribbon. These are document promotion codes and promotion summary. On the actions tab of the ribbon, the apply promotion action will trigger NAV to check through the enabled promotions on the system and see which ones are a fit for the combination of the customer and the items ordered. It will then add them into the sales document where applicable. For example, adding a line discount or an extra line giving a product free. The unapply promotion action will remove previously applied promotions from the sales document. All lines will revert to their values without the promotion and any extra lines that were added will be removed. On the navigate tab of the ribbon, the promotion summary action shows a list of the promotions that have been used in this document. It will show the details behind the applied promotion or promotions. And finally, the document promotion codes action allows you to enter previously created promotion codes, which can then be applied using the apply promotion button. The following videos in this playlist show examples of these promotions in action.